Hello and welcome to another DCSD On Demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for how to use Adobe Acrobat Professional to make a PDF that you've downloaded a little bit more user-friendly. So to begin with I need to rotate it. I go up to Document, I choose Rotate Pages, and in this case I need to rotate my document counterclockwise 90 degrees. I choose counterclockwise 90 degrees under direction and I say OK. This way whenever anyone opens my file it will be faced the correct direction. Then I want to go to view up at the top. I want to choose toolbars and choose my forms toolbar. Once I have that, I can see a little T in a box up in the upper left that lets me draw my text boxes so students can complete my PDF assignment and then just email it back to me instead of having to print it out. I'm setting some default font sizes under Appearance. In this case, I'm choosing 30, but you could choose whatever seemed right for you. One of the things I didn't understand when I first started using Acrobat Professional is that I can't draw a text box, set its properties like I have here by name, and then copy and paste it all over my document wherever I want a text box with those same properties. The problem with that, as I've found, is that when I go to fill out the form, if you do that, whatever the person enters by name also would be entered by date and wherever else you pasted that text box. So that really doesn't work very well. You have to do them individually. You'll next want to go to Advanced and then click on Enable Usage Rights in Adobe Reader. Remember this gives your students the chance to complete their work, save it, and then email it right back to you, enabling a more paperless classroom if you're interested in having that. Thank you for watching another DCSD On Demand video tutorial. This is Liz Walhoff from the Cantrell Building in Douglas County School District.